I've been really impressed listening to the ways in which the, the producers, um, the researchers are interacting with each other on these projects. And then I'm, what I really like as well, it's particularly here on Pioneer Farm, is that you've got the educational component in this as well. So it's, it, it's research, it's education, and it's outreach all happening together in all sorts of integrated ways. And um, that's exciting when you can make that happen. So um, it was really good to see this example of what's going on here in Platteville. I had not had a chance to interact with any of our uh, local farmers recently, and so it was good to connect up with them and actually to see how visionary they are, you know, that they really are not thinking about just what happens today, but what's happened, what will happen 10 years from now, and that they're drawing on their experience from 15 and 20 years ago. That's a, that's a really uh, uh, insightful perspective to be taken account of as we try to deliver on our educational program. One of the things that I think is really exciting about a lot of the new technologies to deliver education um, is not that it's going to allow us to do MOOCs over in China, but it's going to make it easier for us to do joint programming and joint degrees within the system across different campuses. Right. Because there are things in particular you know, that Madison has to offer that none of the comprehensive have, but there are a good number of students who can't come and live two and four years in Madison. And um, so I, I think the opportunities for collaboration, particularly on the education side, are really going to increase in the next several years. And it's going to be on our shoulders to make sure that we really take advantage of that.